Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and what I wanted to do today was talk about something that I think is on a lot of people's minds based on threads I'm seeing on Reddit and Spectrum and various other locations, and that's the game changer that's been teased a little bit by the uh, CIG developers. Um, you know, when we talk about the ship, I think there's a lot of cool things that, you know, it could be. Um, and when we hear game changer, you generally think about things that aren't in place today. Otherwise, it doesn't really become anything new or that special. Um, you know, a couple that come to mind would be things like, you know, maybe like a mine layer or a mine sweeper or potentially like an interdiction um, ship. Something along those lines. But I think the problem there is twofold. Um, one is it's supposed to be a non-military ship, so that takes out a lot of the uh, mine layer pieces. And interdiction is something we already have had conversations from the developers about coming. Um, specifically in regards to like a weapon that's going to be available on the Buccaneer as kind of a test bed. So I don't see either one of those as being likely. But what we do know is, is that it's supposed to be non-military and large. Um, so that leaves us with civilian big ships. And I think there's some potential ones that I think could be it and I think makes for interesting ideas. Um, the first one that I think could be potential is some sort of like transport ship for like various space probes. You know, think about almost like a, a power company lineman, you know, going out and actually laying communication beacons around. Um, you know, I, I think in the verse, you know, we already see some of this around Crusader that you need the ICC probes up or you kind of lose out on the network. So some sort of ship that actually um, facilitates the creation of that on a smaller scale than like Relay. So, um, you know, the antennas and stuff that we're going out to work on today, those probes and everything, they're, they're very large. And I'm not expecting anything that's going to be able to carry something that's essentially a small space station. But I think there are going to be smaller things like beacons and other devices that are going to be out there. And a ship that's able to carry and implement those is an interesting thought. Um, kind of in that same thought process would be some sort of like base building ship. Um, you know, you can think about the way the Crucible opens up and is able to create like a scaffolding to go around a ship to do repairs. Um, there's a p possibility that whether we're talking about space or on the ground, that there's a construction option coming that's almost necessary. You know, maybe you're uh, hauling large pieces of um, components and are able to put them together on site once they all arrive, you know, to kind of create a new space station or to um, create, um, you know, new sites in the, uh, in the air. We, you know, with our focus on the ground, I think something that's able to actually carry the outpost is really interesting. Almost like one of those big, uh, you know, carrier helicopters that actually takes the big crates along. Um, you know, something along those lines that allows you to create a, a an outpost on the planet. Because today, you look at an outpost and you say, okay, they're not huge, but they're pretty big and would be really inconvenient to be carried by really just about anything that we have today. So, you know, you can almost think about like a... Um, you know, a Starfarer, if you drop the tanks, how it would be able to carry something externally underneath it. I think a ship that's actually designed with something like that in mind, but also has utilities on boards like cranes and welding stations and stuff, that actually helps you to create something like an outpost on a planet. Um, I think that's an interesting option, and as they look long term, and as the level of detail and effort they're putting into these outposts, I think they're obviously wanting to tap into some of that modularity and allow us to get customizing uh, with all that stuff. Um, so I think that one's pretty likely. Um, another one that I think is uh, likely as well is one that's been discussed, uh, yeah, I think it was in the last patron roundtable as well, was the idea of a tugboat. Um, you know, when ships aren't necessarily repairable and they need to get back to a space dock to really be repaired, a tugboat would be a good option. Um, you know, or if you're trying to take a ship from point A to point B so somebody can actually fly that ship at a different location, you know, moving people's fleets around, a tugboat could work for that. Um, you know, and you could even potentially do that in like a derelict situation. So let's say you're exploring in a minefield and you have, or a minefield, in an asteroid field and you happen to come across, um, you know, a, uh, I don't know, let's say a caterpillar that's, um, you know, disabled, but you're not necessarily necessarily someone who has a, um, you know, a, I, I don't know, a reclaimer or even a crucible or something that would actually fix it or break it down into parts, you know, having a tugboat would allow you to th just haul that back to wherever you're going and you could either send that to a repair shop to be fixed up or you could end up just taking it to a, somewhere where it's broken down into components that you could sell. Now, the last one I want to talk about is one that I think I've kind of been favoring in these discussions over the past several months since we've kind of caught wind of this, um, and that's a carrier. Now, I'm not meaning a military carrier because we know this is going to be non-military, but the reason why a civilian carrier would be a game changer is because all of a sudden you're starting to make changes to um, you know, things like crew requirements or range or you know, other limitations that impact how you're going to have to go about your day-to-day -day operations in the verse. Um, you know, if you think about this thing essentially as like a flying cannoli you know, <laughs> that doesn't have weaponry on it, the sole purpose of it is to move ships from point A to point B, I think that brings in some interesting gameplay options that kind of expands and provides people with different opportunities.
um, you know, I, I think of this as something where, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have weapons on it. So if somebody jumps in and wants to cause problems, you have to then release your, you know, the crew that's actually, um, you know, on the ship and they have to get into their ships and fly out and actually defend it. Or you need to bring escorts along. So I think that's the one that I've been leaning towards for the longest time because I think it makes sense. And obviously reading around, how many times have you seen people saying, well, this is a pocket carrier? And the answer has always been no. I think this is something that kind of highlights a need or a desire from the community. And I think it's something that's eventually going to make its way into the game, especially knowing that something like a bangle, for example, isn't going to be attainable for most people. So I think at this point, um, the base building ship is the one that I'm saying is probably the most likely, probably more focused on ground than space. Um, but again, those are just some of the options and it may be something totally off the wall. So um, if you guys have a thought on what this could be, go ahead and toss them in the comments. I would love to see ideas on what people think this is. Otherwise, stay tuned for a whole lot more. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care. <laughs>